All right, y'all, we're finally here. It's time for some Kaiju number eight. Now, if you've missed out on any videos that I've put out in the past talking about it, that's no problem. You ain't gotta go worry about watching those back now because we are here and now about to check out this hyped anime that I've been hyping for a while. I'm not caught up with the manga right now, but I have been keeping up with the manga ever since it started and I could tell it was a banger ever since. So that's the quick synopsis that I'm going to give you because if you have no idea what this is about, let me just put it into some layman's terms. I originally said, and don't freak out on me, is that this is going to be the Attack on Titan successor, not in the tense that these are comparable because obviously they're very, very different for those that do know what Kaiju number eight is all about. And for those that also know what Attack on Titan is about, you'll know that yes, they are not alike. And I guess the last comment that I made when I reacted to the trailer that they dropped a while ago, a lot of people misunderstood and misinterpreted what I was trying to say. What I was trying to say is that it's going to be the successor in the sense that it's going to fill the gap and the void that Attack on Titan is basically leaving us behind with because we don't have any monster-like or kaiju-like anime right now, at least not any of that I'm concerned with. And this is like Shonen Jump's, one of Shonen Jump's hits, I would imagine, especially since, you know, it's, it has its own anime adaptation now. That's what I meant, hope to clear the air. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then don't worry because kaiju number eight is gonna be a massive hit is going to be super entertaining, super fun. Take it from me, but let's go and see how the first episode was adapted right now. Oh, and also, I should also mention that uh, I'm supposed to be reacting to these episodes with Brother Ooch, but that bum watched it without me for the first one. But uh, episode two and on, hopefully we will continue to react together like old times. So let's get to it. So they're like, they're they're watching out for the kaiju's, and up oh, here comes one. Oh damn, they're in Yokohama. Oh, is that an eight? That that, that smoke definitely made an eight. Yo, tell me why this 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 John look like a big old Groudon, low key. Damn, that thing is huge. So they got divisions based on the areas in Japan. Okay. Oof, dude, I could never. I can't imagine living in. Oh, hold on. Let me shut up. Damn. Blew a whole hole in there. Jesus, that's a lot of blood and guts. I guess it's dead. Sheesh. That's kind of nuts. And there's our main character. So they're the cleanup crew. Yep, you got that right. The main character is not on this team. He is a part of the cleanup crew. Hmm. So happy to see this animated right now. Ooh, look at that power scrubbing. Ooh. Ooh. Unsung battle against the kaiju. Kafka. Oh my god, the blood's like acidic? Don't ma make sure you file for workers comp. Yeah, you got it. It's important. Damn, that's insane. The amount of damage. Hmm. <laughs> the intestines. Uh-oh. Oh, they gotta clean up shit. Ooh. Oh, and they are like, what? What's the point of blurring it? Like, we can clearly see it. That that's funny. Ashiro Mina. She's a young captain at 27. Has already defeated several hundred kaiju. Remember her. Make that connection, y'all. Did you see that? Damn, she'd be a core commander. He's like, damn, where did I go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how did I wind up on this side of things? His bed look mad comfy. Oh my god, he's a fucking slob. Look at this guy. I thought my room was a mess. Ichikawa. Oh. For those that know. Oh. Sayaki. You gotta do intestine work again. That sucks. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that they actually blur the shit. Like, what's the point of that? I don't I really don't get it. Does that make it like M-rated or something? If you show shit? Oh, that was gross. Yeah, he threw a juice at him. Multivitamin. Nose plugs. He's trying to hook him up. Damn. It doesn't even look like they cleaned up much. Oh, that's nice. He just wanted to thank him for a nice first day. Yeah, apply for the defense force. <gasps> oh my god. Wow, he saved them mad fast. 
And he told him, if you're trying to be in the defense force, why would you sacrifice yourself here? Wow, that's dope. Stalling for him. It's been such a long time since I read the first chapter. That is one ugly motherfucker. Damn. Wow, he escaped it. That was pretty cool. Uh-oh. This looks like a flashback. Yeah. Oh, her cat died. That's sad. Probably from the wreckage is my guess. Oh, they both said it. Oh, that's a little, little tribute to the cat. So who's going to be the cooler defense force officer? That was the uh, little bet that they had as children. Yeah, I don't know if that pole is going to really cut it, my, my guy. Yo, he got smacked. Oh, his leg is broken. Fuck. Oh, Ichikawa. Whoa. Damn. Jeez. Oh. Damn, they sent out a whole ass white tiger. Ashiro Mina saved his ass. Damn, she handled that one, two, three. No problem. She's OD. Damn, he's saying he was so cool for saving him. Mm-hmm. And he remembers. Should think about joining the defense force. Whoa, what's that? Uh <laughs> it spoke. Oh shit. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Yup, chapter one. Boom. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> this old man. Oh my god. This old man called him in. The man who became a kaiju. Episode one. All right, hold on, guys. I got to hear this intro. Hmm. That's all right. It's poppy. It's safe. This is uh, interesting. The ending is actually like a, like actual credits rolling. Usually we see like, you know, an outro thingy going on with all like, you know, animation and stuff. Honestly, I don't mind this. If they want to focus more on the episodes themselves, I'm cool with that. You know, sacrifice. One Republic. Nobody. It's I. Right. I don't know if this really sounds like an intro song to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, we got after credits. Oh, this is them studying how to be uh, in the defense force. Oh, damn. She called him a liar. Well, so much for that bath. Yikes. They're gonna eliminate it. That was a cool ending. I, I do appreciate when anime uh, have like these inserted after credit scenes. So that's super dope. So what I wanted to say outside of just giving my approval of the first episode of Kaiju number eight is this first episode reminded me as to why this particular show might resonate more with folks that are around my age as you can see kafka is 32 no secret i am 30 i am in my 30s i am 30 on the zero the dot you know what i'm saying this story is about chasing your dreams even when you think it's too late and you're past the point of attaining it or seeing it through and i totally forgot about that part of this show outside of like you know it's kaijus and we're fighting them and we're trying to do the da, 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 defense force yeah right besides all that good and fun stuff there's like that meaning and that to me is very new and we don't really see that and i haven't personally seen that in any of the animes that i'm aware of so it's really nice to have something that's brand new not really recycle a lot of the same shonen type of themes this is very new to me so i think that if you're like you know someone that's born in the 90s or maybe you're older you know maybe there's something that you've been trying to attain i mean shit i'm still here on youtube trying to be a full-time content creator i definitely fuck with kafka i resonate with this guy i relate to this guy so Kaiju number eight, definitely going up in my, one of my favorites because of that, uh, right off the bat, you know, we're not trying to be the Hokage. We're not trying to get the one piece We're, you know, we're not trying to do all this fancy schmancy, whatever it is. We're trying to just achieve our goal that we maybe thought couldn't be possible. So shout out to Kafka and shout out to Kaiju number eight. I'm, I'm finally glad it's here, but in case you skipped ahead to the reaction, you didn't hear me say before we started reacting that 
hopefully from episode two and on for the remainder of this season i will be joined by my boy brother ooch aka my uh my guy my brother that you know if you remember back in the dragon ball days him and i used to react to all the super episodes so we'll be doing that again for this anime and i'm looking forward to seeing how what he thinks of it and how the episodes develop and how they make you guys more fans if you're still like kind of on the fence of it but enough out of me what did you guys think of this first episode did it leave a good first impression even though we didn't really get to see kafka in action as his uh new in his new kaiju form i'm sure they're obviously going to be saving that for episode two because now they left us with a cliffhanger it looks like his childhood friend who's in the defense force mina she's the captain is gonna find his ass and take his ass out without even realizing that he's a kaiju himself so let me know your thoughts like share subscribe all that algorithm stuff and uh take care of yourselves guys and uh, i'll see you in the next one peace